Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have themselves a new offensive line coach as Kevin Carberry joins the coaching staff, a former defensive lineman of the NFL. He was with the Browns, the Lions in 2005. He was with the Carolina Panthers in 2006. He also spent some time in the Arena Football League with the Berlin Thunder in 2006, the New York Dragons in 2007, and the Philadelphia Soul in 2008. As a coach, he's been to a few different places. He was at Kansas from 09 to 2011 with the Dallas Cowboys from 2014 to 2015 as an offensive assistant. He spent time with Sean McVay as the assistant offensive line coach from 2016 to 2017 at Stanford from 2018 to 2020 as the run game coordinator and offensive line coach. He was with the Rams in 2021 to 2022 as their offensive line coach. Then he was an assistant offensive line coach in 2023 to the present day, but he, obviously he has now been hired by the Buccaneers. What was really interesting here is that Carberry was hired as the offensive line coach for the Rams in 2021, so there's your overlap with Liam Cohen, the Buccaneers' new offensive coordinator. They had spent some uh, time together with the LA Rams. Liam Cohen was there in 2022, so he was kept on there. Uh, he reunited with Sean McVay in Carberry's first season with the Rams. They won the Super Bowl against the Cincinnati Bengals. But he was fired on January 18th, 2023. We don't know why he was fired. It may have just been part of a move that was made um, with, Sean, with Sean McVay's coaching staff. D don't really know, but he, he was fired. That is an important thing to note. However, he was less than a month later hired by the New Orleans Saints as their assistant offensive line coach. So... It's a pretty interesting thing to make a note of. Uh, tell you what, let's actually, while, while we've got some time here, let's go back and see how many times Matthew Stafford was sacked in those two years. He was the offensive line coach in 2021 and in 2022. So in 2021, Matthew Stafford played in all 17 games. That was the year that they won the Super Bowl. He was sacked 30 times that year, which is about midway for Stafford throughout his entire time in the NFL it was actually just as much as he had gotten in 2023. He made the Pro Bowl in 2023, playing in 15 games. Um, was not the case in uh, 2021, but I mean, heck of a season in 2021, by the way. 41 touchdowns, 17 picks, 4,886 passing yards. Great year for Matthew Stafford. But in 2022, he was only sacked 20 nine times, which let, let's go to that Rams 2022 season just to see how many times the quarterbacks were sacked combined. So combined, ugh, they were sacked 59 times that year. Baker was sacked 17 times. Stafford sacked 29. And this could just be because of the, the quarterbacks that were playing, but 59 sacks given up on the year. That's, that's not great. That, that would be well and above the most in Matthew Stafford's career. So you know, you give up that many sacks in a year. Uh, it does make sense that that he would probably be let go. Um, I do want to take a look at the running as well, because that certainly matters. So let's take a look at the rushing offense of 2021. That was whenever he was the offensive line coach. They were 25th in rushing yards, 23rd in attempts. That's important to note as well. And 28th in touchdowns. What about in 2022, the following year? 26th, 27th, and 16th. So th this isn't to say that this is a full knock on the offensive line. But it is notable. I mean, 2022 was a bad year for the Rams offensive line. They went 5-12. and 12. Um, I'm curious how many injuries they had along that offensive line. They could have had a lot of different types of guys who were dealing with a lot of different types of injuries if we can figure out what the heck was going on at that time. If we go to the injury report, um, let's see. So... You have a few different guys here that were on the IR for a good chunk of time. Aaron Donald is out for a good chunk of games that year. Is this defensive? This is defensive. So, I don't know. It is Note Bloom, or Note Boom. One of their best tackles was on the IR for a lot of that year. You had Kieran Williams. He's not an offensive lineman. Stafford was obviously on the IR towards the end of the year. That is certainly notable as well. Uh, no Boom's an interesting one because he was their starting tackle. That's obviously not going to be a great situation. Cooper Cup was also there, so a lot of those sacks could have been because Cooper Cup wasn't there. Jake Hummel plays linebacker, so that doesn't necessarily matter too, too much. What about Daniel 
Hardy. He plays linebacker, so it didn't, that didn't really matter that much either. Um, Jordan Fuller, I believe he plays safety. Logan Bruss, he plays offensive line? Yes, he plays offensive guard. So he was out. He was a third-round draft pick for the Rams um, during that year. So you had another offensive lineman that was out for the entirety of the year. You had Tremaine uh, Ankum, who was out, another offensive lineman that was out for the year for the Rams. So they did have a lot of injuries along the offensive line. I'm not saying that that is the sole reason. They also had Chandler Brewer that was out, another injury to the offensive line who was placed on the IR at some point. Uh, Brian Allen... Another offensive lineman who was out at some point. So the Rams O-line did have a lot of injuries. Now, is that the sole reason as to why things did not work out in 2022 for um, Mr. Kevin Carberry in result of him getting fired? No, it's probably not the sole reason, but it is notable. It is worth mentioning that the Rams had a, a good amount of injuries along their offensive line, in some cases to some high-level starters, like your starting center, like your starting tackle. So whenever you do see he was fired, it's also important to remember context there. The Rams, yes, they gave up a lot of sacks that year. Yes, both years were not great in terms of rushing offense, but um, you, you did see some success, a lot of success in the, the Super Bowl year with Stafford and also 2022, the year he got fired, 2023, sorry, that 2022-2023 season, a lot of injuries along that offensive line as well, but Point being is that Kevin Carberry is here. We will see if things can improve for the Buccaneers offensive line. Liam Cohen's going to be here as well. How is that going to affect the situation? We don't know. We are just going to have to wait and see. But guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions about all this down in the comments section below. I would love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.